Hey friends, thanks for clicking on. Um, I'm Jenny Murray. I am a worship pastor and if you're watching this then you probably are interested in worship music and so I wanted to show you some resources that we have for you here at New Covenant Church and beyond. So one of the things that we have is Planning Center and it has different apps within it. So one of the Planning Center apps that we use is called Services and it's green and I primarily use that on my phone. So it is great um, for listening along in the car and listening actively to the music. Um, it has a great media player and it's very portable. So this is my first go-to tool for getting ready for rehearsal. And there is a fabulous tutorial on how it works through Planning Center and we're going to link it for you. So hit pause, click that link and make sure you've read that article and watched the videos that accompany that so you know how to best use all that is within your Planning Center app and it works on iPhone, Android, all those. Same thing for Music Stand. And so that one I use on my iPad. You could use it also on a tablet. I've even used it on a Kindle. So you can get that in your app store. It's free. It's called Music Stand. And then you log in the same way that you log in to Planning Center. Same username, same password. So once you get in there, it should look something like this. And you can see I've got some services on the left side here. I also have a songs button. I can grab songs from our library there if I want to practice or be learning a new song or brush up on an old song. That's all there for you. And then on the right side, you can see a little preview of the service. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this service for August 28th. And then you'll see I have some songs here. And one of them is our worship leader here at New Covenant Church, Emily Nagel. She has some great worship music for you. So if you don't know about that, check it out on all the places you can download music, iTunes, Spotify, all that. Her name's Emily Nagel. And she writes great worship music. This is one of her songs. It's called Holy is the Lord. And right now it's set to go to the number chart. And if you want to play along with Nashville numbers, that chart is always there for you. And then if you wanted to go ahead and play it in the key that was chosen by your worship leader, you would go ahead and click on the little down arrow next to number chart, then touch chord chart in the corresponding key, which is listed there in the large blue circle. So now it's set to that PDF for me. I'm gonna tap that and it's gonna move through into my chart. And then just wanna point out one handy tool that might be good for you. If you play guitar, bass guitar, um, this is a great tool. It's just a Bluetooth page turner that I sync to my device. And then you can see here when I press that with my foot, that it turns the pages for us. So that's really handy when your hands are busy. So once we're inside the chart here, I just wanna to note to you some things that are in our chart. So at the very top, you've got the title, you've got the key. If there is a capo, you can also choose for you acoustic players, a, um, a capo chart that corresponds with that key. And it will say that at the top, where to put your capo and then your beats per minute, your time signature. So this song is 64 beats per minute. It's four over four, which means that it's in four, four. The quarter note is the steady beat. And then you can see the song form right below that, that we go first into the intro, verse, chorus, verse, so on and so forth. So you've got a lot of things coming at you right there. If you tap, on your app anywhere on the chart, then you'll see this toolbar come up at the top. So in the toolbar on the top right, you have three different buttons. I wanna go ahead and hit the one that looks like a play button. Aha, uh -huh. there's Emily. So you can see that the song file is attached and you can listen along and practice with the song. Except Emily's in the key of G right now. So let's pause it. And we're going to touch at the bottom here in the player that comes up, the up arrow, and then you can actually go ahead and choose the transposed key of A. There we go. You can hear she jumped up there a whole step. And now we're in the right key so that I can play along. So let's pretend I'm a bass player today. Because we all know I'm pretending. And uh, the chorus is where I'm going to come in. You can hear there's no bass right now. So I might even make a note. I can tap the little marker at the top, make myself a note, maybe that I don't play this part. Okay, so you can see I made a little note there. You can see some of my other notes. I circled chorus because that's where I come in. Hear me? There's the bass. 
So what we're doing right now is active listening. I'm listening from my heart, where it comes in, and making notes on the chart. And those will stay with that chart as long as I use this app, unless I delete them. Also, I could go in and I could import someone else's notes. So if your worship leader wanted to go in and make notes that everyone needed to see, you could tap up here at the top. Once you're in annotations, it says my annotations. You could tap that down arrow and say if Lauren had some notes for her team, you could touch Lauren's notes and import them and then you could make notes on top of Lauren notes. It's great. Super handy. Don't be afraid to try different buttons up here and see what they do. Who knows, you might teach me something. There's an undo button. We love that. All right. So let's play along here and you can see how that happens. Get the idea, all right. So then say I was having trouble with a certain part. I could touch down here on the bottom right of the player and then you can see these little brackets come up and I can move those brackets to wherever in the song I might want to practice in a loop. So let's see what I got here. Oh yeah, there's the bridge. So let's page over to the bridge. Yep. So my loop wasn't quite as long as I wanted it. So I'm gonna adjust it a little longer. And then I'm gonna to get to that point where there's a big stop in the bridge that I wanna practice. Let's see if I got it this time. So that little part there might be tricky. So I would just toggle through so that it goes to the chorus and then it would loop me back through and I could sit there and I could play through the big stop 20 times if I need to so that I've just got it locked into my muscle memory. So that's how the player can work for you on different keys, playing along in the right key, looping through a tough section. So if you press the little place where the play button was, it's now an eject button. So click that the player goes back down. And then I wanna show you the last feature at the top. So you had your play button, which is your media player. And on the right, you have your annotation button, which looks like a marker. And in the middle is a metronome button. Tap that. And this little tool comes up at the top. So I can hit play and it's already got the metronome for me there in 64 beats per minute. And then I could practice along with that because you're really going to be ready for practice if you can play all by yourself with the click. So this is a slow song. 64 beats per minute is slow. So you could add that 16th there and it's going to add the subdivision and that's going to help you stay on tempo. It's going to help you lock that tempo into your muscle memory. So you might want to do that if you find that you're not staying with the click. Try that. Also, you could try hitting the flash button and you'll see the player is flashing at the top. And that's going to help if your volume is turned all the way up and you still can't hear your click when you're playing along, which might happen for you electric guitar players. So you can flash it so you can see your click. So it's got lots of amazing options. And while we're at that, so let me go ahead and show you how we do that. So I can just play along by myself now. Here we go. there is inside this resource music stand that we have for you and I hope that this helps you practice and helps you feel more ready for practice and rehearsal than you ever have before.
God bless you. Take care.